This is Thomas, just a regular guy. If you saw Thomas on the street, you wouldn't look twice, and you probably won't hear about him on the news. When Thomas was a little child, he used to have a creative imagination and big dreams. The people around him, however, kept trying to program his behavior so he would fit the society. <laughs> Please, behave! <laughs> Be quiet! When I grow up I want to be an artist or a pirate, maybe a land explorer. Stop dreaming, study and do your homework. When Thomas was a teenager, it didn't get any better. What are you wearing? This isn't cool. Look at his drawings. What are you, a girl? Stop dreaming, listen! When Thomas finished high school, it got even worse. You have to choose what to study in college, this is the beginning of your career. Thomas shut down completely. There are two creatures who live inside each of us, head and emotion. His head took the reins and pushed the emotion out of the way. Now I'm in control, I can decide better for us, just be quiet and keep a low profile. His dreams are no longer important. He became a robot walking through the path that others chose for him. From school, to college, to getting a good job that pays good salary, getting married, having children, keep working, vacation from time to time, more working, finally retiring, and then life is over. The head took over his life while the emotion locked herself deep inside. Thomas drinks, smokes, tries to find ways to set his emotion free. When he gets drunk and high, his emotion unlocks, he dreams again. He can be an artist or a pirate. He can be a land explorer. He can dance as funny as he wants or sing loud. He can tell the truth, be honest, or just fool around. There is a dissonance between his calculated cold reality to those moments when he runs away from it. It's like two personalities that live separately inside the same person. The head decided that he can no longer live with the emotion. She's not responsible enough and can only disturb. The head and the emotion got divorced and now live in two different houses. Thomas spends most of his time in the head's house, but gets drunk and high from time to time to visit the emotion. But she is usually sad. She cannot express herself and she has to hide, or else the society might not accept Thomas. This is not a story about someone who became alcoholic or addicted to drugs, but just a regular guy who lives a regular life in the modern world. He went far away from the nature and his true self and became dependent on alcohol and drugs to express his feelings. The average person these days treats the head as a king, lets it take decision and always be in the front. He ignores the emotion and treats it like a wild animal that needs to be tamed. But why would you allow yourself to be authentic only on special occasions? Why would you go far away from your true nature, your true self? Why would you adjust your choices to fit someone else's expectations? It doesn't have to be like that. You can choose to live differently whenever you want to. Our head is a professional manipulator. He thinks he knows best what's good for us and convinces us to do things his way, and it's indeed very convincing, sounds logical. He only tries to protect us, but sometimes he goes too far and locks our emotion to prevent us from the criticism of others, to prevent us from getting hurt. But getting hurt is a part of life, and it is not healthy to live your life in a way that only pleases others, instead of staying true to yourself. But you can change that. Be consistent with the internal work. Keep growing and moving forward. Make peace between your head and emotion. Let them live together peacefully. They love each other, but sometimes they make mistakes. Anyway, none of them should take the control. You should be in charge. Ask yourself if your choices and actions represent the authentic you if it's not just another good story that your head tells you. Maybe even your goals didn't really come from the right place and you might need to change them. Maybe what you thought you wanted is not what you really want. Integrate your life activities that allow you to express your emotion. Make time for hobbies and be more honest when you interact with people. Break those walls down, peel the covers, live as you truly desire. Stay loyal to your authentic self. It is hard to tell when you lie to yourself especially nowadays, but this is one of our main challenges in the 21st century, come back home. It's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to change your mind, let it happen. Whenever you catch yourself falling asleep and living the routine like a robot, wake up, otherwise, what do you live for? 
Thank you for watching. I invite you to join me and subscribe to Freedom Kingdom for more content like this. Feel free to leave a comment below and share your thoughts. See you next time!